Another illness is concerning doctors tonight, the flu, and that's because of soaring COVID-19 cases. Doctors are urging parents to get their kids vaccinated for the flu early this year. As KXAN investigator Arzo Dost explained, several pharmacies and doctor's offices here in Central Texas already have flu shots in stock. She was a healthy, beautiful little girl. Emily Lassinger was just three years old when her father says she died from the flu. She wasn't vaccinated uh, and uh, she, from the time that she got ill with influenza, uh, it, it was about a week before she passed away suddenly at home. The family from North Texas says it was in 2004 before the flu shot was recommended for six months and older children. They helped create families fighting flu. The nonprofit advocates for flu education and prevention. You can't fix all the COVID risks right now, right? Because, you, you know, kids under 12 can't be vaccinated. But one thing you can do as a parent is you can take flu out of the equation. Are you concerned that it could be a really bad flu season? There's a lot of reasons to be concerned. You know, we've seen that how everybody got hit so hard again with RSV over the summer. The state health department only tracks pediatric flu related deaths. A spokesperson says data for the last two years looks very different because of measures taken to help with the spread of COVID-19. State numbers show so far no pediatric flu deaths reported this flu season, which runs to the end of this month. There were 20 pediatric flu deaths the year before, but the spokesperson says those numbers were also impacted after schools shut down in mid-March last year, and 17 deaths were reported in the 2018-2019 flu season. We've got a couple years of kids now that have no natural uh, protection from flu. Dr. Seth Kaplan is a pediatrician and president of the Texas Pediatric Society. He recommends kids get their flu shots as soon as possible. We have concerns that an already strained system could be strained even more if this ends up being a bad flu season. For the Lastingers, they just don't want the flu to be forgotten during the pandemic. I just got my text reminder also from CVS. They're Emily would have been 21 years old now. Arzo Dost, KXAN Investigates. Oh, that'll break your heart. Dr. Kaplan tells Arzo that anyone eligible can get the flu shot and COVID-19 vaccine at the same time. He's hopeful that the coronavirus vaccine will be approved for younger kids as early as this month, or it could be as late as January, just depending on the data. He says analysis of data from the CDC shows that 53% of 12 to 17 year olds in Texas have had at least one dose and 42% are fully vaccinated. Health officials in the United States look to countries in the Southern Hemisphere to sort of forecast how severe our flu season could be. And that's because their seasons are opposite ours in the Northern Hemisphere. So they go into flu season before us. The Australian government is reporting historically low levels of the flu season this year. There have been nearly 500 confirmed cases. No deaths have been reported thus far. Officials also say no one has been hospitalized there with the flu. Now, flu cases have been on the rise across the United States, and here's a look at where transmission stands less than two weeks ago, according to the CDC. New Mexico and Georgia in red and orange are seeing high transmission. Texas, Florida, and Wyoming are considered to have moderate spread.